Hello YouTube. Uh, this is the first episode, if you want, uh, in uh, something I find very interesting. Uh, I came across some old cameras a friend of mine had. He let me borrow them to uh, show you uh, on this series of vintage cameras, uh, which I think are just beautiful uh, considering the technology uh, that was available uh, many years ago, 70, 80 years ago. So let's begin. This is the Altisa 2. Um, the number 2, you can see, is down here. Uh, this camera was made in uh, 1938, uh, which was about a year before World War II. It was made in uh, the Altisa Company, which uh, started in 1892 uh, in Dresden, Germany. And uh, Dresden is uh, a city approximately uh, 120 miles south of Berlin. Now, what's interesting, I, I find very interesting, is that this camera, while made in Germany, in Dresden, in 1938... Who knows who had this camera? Um, this could have been a family camera in Germany. Uh, who knows if it took photographs of uh, the war uh, or, or victories or who knows. Uh, the, the history of this camera, who owned it, is unknown, of course. Uh, but what is incredible is... Uh, the functionality. Let's start uh, with the top. It has two viewfinders. This one, which is a waist level. You look down here and there's a mirror that you see the view right here, kind of like a uh, twin lens. Uh, but what they came up with was this lever on the side where you flip it forward and the, the mirror moves up and now you can view it right up to your eye. You would look through here and you can get that perspective if you didn't want to look at it uh, waist level. Uh, the lens is very interesting. Uh, it uh, says right on the lens Ludwig Dresden and then it has a serial number and then it has a Victaf. Uh, then it say it says f four point five, but what's interesting instead of it saying that it's a seventy five millimeter lens, they had it in centimeters that this would be a seven point five centimeter lens. Uh, shutter speeds are a little different than we're used to today. Uh, it has twenty fifth of a second, fiftieth of a second, hundred b for bulb, t for time. Uh, it still works after the, all these years. The f stops uh, on the bottom, uh, 4.5, I think it's a 6.3, f9, f12, f18, and I think it says f25. Uh, it has a place here for a cable release. But very interesting is that it has this dial that you can dial in the meters, how many meters away uh, your subject is. Very interesting, very advanced. The body is all metal. It's a 120 film uh, size camera. You would open up these really, I would call them uh, pretty, these pretty metal uh, hinges on the side. You open both, they are locks. Uh, you pull the front off. Everybody would expect that this part would open. It even has a seam, but that's just decorative. You actually would pull the front off like this, all metal. It has a tripod mount. That was very advanced, and you can see it comes up through the bottom, but it's sealed to keep it light tight. You would load the film from the top, 120 size film. Loaded from the top, it has these free-flowing wheels through the back. 
um, your picture it looks like it would be a square format medium format comes around and it goes up onto here then after you load your film you would just simply slide it right back in lock it in now this camera is 78 years old and it still functions pretty well you lock the right side and the left side and uh, you're good to go this would be your take up uh, your wind here now I went online uh, and I could not find an exact uh, camera like this the the decorative uh, printing is a little bit different on this one than other cameras so who knows maybe they had a special model uh, one particular year uh, let's see the inventor of this camera for them was an employee uh, for Altisa his name was Carl Altman uh, like I said uh, the company Altisa started in 1892 and this medium format box camera all metal was made in 1938 it's a 78 year old uh, just wonderful wonderful camera the design here on the top I find it to be very different than uh, other Kodak box brownies of the same time uh, it has a uh, strap loops on each side and lastly uh, you might be wondering what this little tab is for in the back. This tab pulls up a piece of sheet metal in the back where you can look through and see what number frame you're on. Really cool. And after all these years, this little red window is still intact. The rear viewfinder is still intact. The glass, the mirror, the front lens viewing. The front taking lens still intact. Everything is still tight. And uh, it's just a wonderful little camera. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll be doing more. Uh, we, I'll be doing more uh, cameras, vintage cameras uh, from the same era. A little later, a little before 1938. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So this is a little 120 film size, medium format. 78 year old Altisa 2 from Dresden, Germany. All right, folks, have a great day.